Welcome to the fl- fuck. Take two. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even read right. <laughs> Welcome to the Splatter Joe Super Freaking Awesome Interview Show. Today's guest is the MC. Little is known to this local artist, so let's get down to it and get to the important hard hitting questions. Is that a mask you wear, or did you get slapped in the back while making that face as a kid? Actually, it's the way I came out of my mother's womb. Interesting. I see all your YouTube videos were uploaded by someone called Guitar Man K. Is he related to the KKK? Uh, actually, he was a member of the KKK at one time, but he got kicked out for being a wuss. So uh, he wasn't uh, able to wear the hood, so to speak, you know. And so he had to go somewhere else to kind of find his his uh, purpose in life. Very good answer. I'm I'm proud of that one. In an interview, uh, Kevin L. from Project K said that you cock-blocked him while you guys worked together, and he heard you died in a fiery death in a car wreck. Obviously, that's not true. Do you care to retort back to Kevin? Well, he's talking shit about you, man. A lot of people don't know that before I started hanging out with Kev, uh, that my home was and still is the mausoleum up in Prospect uh, Cemetery, you know. And I like to go there when nights are hot because stone is cold, you know, so it's... uh, it's a good place to hang out, and uh, I played drums for him. I, I you've seen me in several videos playing drums for him and stuff like that. And yep. it's true, I got more uh, tail than he ever did, and I think he got mad about that. You know, a little and, jealousy. Uh, yeah, I think so. You know, so uh, um, we sat down one night over a, a blunt and everything, and just talked about uh, things and everything. And he just wanted to go one way, which was Black Squire, and I was. Uh, going to try to go with what I want to do, and uh, now I have my Reverb Nation page and everything, so, you know. Well, I, I know Kevin, I think he is a little jealous of you. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's a good guy, but you can see it sometimes in his eye when we talk about you. Well, uh, I was probably the most popular person in Project K when we were in the band, uh, and I had told someone before that girls had even asked me to uh, wear the mask in uh, encounters as well, so uh, uh, I aim to please. What can I tell you, you know? Uh, on a serious note, to those who haven't heard of you, want to explain yourself and your music, what you're about? Well, basically, I have a lot of friends who are in the hip-hop world and everything, and I'm a guitar player, first and foremost, and um, I like to play funky music and stuff like that, but I will not play with premeditated beats and samples from other people's songs. Uh, I prefer to play the instruments all myself and make those things uh, uh, happen within a context that not only ethnic people can understand but rock and roll people as well. Right. So that's what, that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, and uh, I'm going to be writing new material, you know. it's. I need to, you know, the examples that you'll see on my page now were like a a year or so ago, and uh, we had a pretty strong following because of those songs. Uh, They probably overwrote, in Japan alone, I want to say, was a big hit over there. Of course, they like the science fiction and the horror kind of Mm -hmm. thing, so, you know, the mask was probably a good thing for them, you know. Did you know they're making a Scream 4? No, I didn't. They didn't contact you to be in it? No, they didn't. Uh, I, but I want to be in the parody based on another <laughs> set of movies, you know, like maybe, you know, Claymation or something like that. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. You, know? you mentioned the song I want to say. What is that song about? It was about living in Syracuse and going out to the club. And you had a DJ that was out there, and he was pretty much controlling the crowd with the songs that he was putting out and hoping that the next song would keep people on the dance floor. So I thought about a person who was uh, the MC of the show, hence the name MC. And he was like saying, um, how you doing? I'm Special K. We're going to rock the beat this way. I want to take you all home with me, and so on and so forth. It's just like trying to get the crowd in the palm of your hand. Right. And uh, that's basically what, what it was saying. And uh, I, I have lines in there that say, like, um, uh, I'm five foot two, got blonde hair and tennis shoes, shaved my head and grew a beard. You just think I'm being weird. 
Um, some people tell me that I can't rap. Opinions are like assholes. Everybody has one. Right. I know I can't rap. Did you see me at Christmas? Tape all over the box. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> I want you to name something you would find in a library. A librarian. Sorry, the correct answer was pedophiles. <laughs> you see, they can't use their computers at home, so they have to go to the library to use them. But thanks for playing. Um, name some of the sites on the web where people can find all your shit. Um, right now, Reverb Nation is my bread and butter at uh, uh, MC in the Heavens. Um, MySpace. Uh, YouTube is where you'll find everything that the MC has done as far as the video goes including uh, uh, a video that was done up here in the cemetery on the hill and uh, I'm sure you've probably seen that and mm -hmm. if you haven't you probably should check it out but it's it's got a good blend of stills and live video and me dancing in front of a mausoleum it was done on a very drunken afternoon <laughs> it was the best it turned out as good um, because I took a ride in the shopping cart over at the Grand Union <laughs> took a dump right <laughs> in the driveway it was like a trapped animal. I wish we would have uh, ended up with some of that, but it's on the cutting room floor. Oh. So. Well, that's pretty much mostly what I got. Any closing statements? Anything you want to tell the public and the probably 12 people that watch my show? Well, I guess I want to say that um, I'd like to be able to continue uh, to be a more valid artist and stuff like that and have people pay attention to the things that I've got coming up. Um, and I, I think that it's possible to uh, to make a dent in some way or some form, you know, uh, because original music is the only music that will survive, because radio is crap. I agree with that. Well, thanks for being on the show. Well, thanks for having me. It's the Splatter Joe's Super Freak and Awesome interview show.